so today's video is going to be how to plan your time in lockdown to be productive and efficient this video can I stress is designed for when you have online classes and any work you might have to do do you not need to, to do a timetable if that's not what you want to do and if all you want to then what you need to do is prioritise what you need to prioritise. Me, to have a structured day and to take enough breaks, I found the timetables what I've like been needing to do because it helps a bit more in terms of keeping those breaks. I don't stick to the exact times like I don't stick to the exact times because it just varies so much. Like, this is my timetable. It's like I don't exactly always do everything at the same time. Just gives me an idea of when I can get the stuff done, like when I've got like free time to get stuff done. I have a timetable on paper which just lives in like the front of my folder, which is this. So, like Monday to Friday, I don't have to plan the weekend, but I know I try not to work at weekends as much as possible. And if I do work at the weekends, I like try and go at my own pace. But I will do a video for like planning for like weekends and holidays and when you don't have classes. It's another video. So I've put all my class times in. And what classes I have, I also put out breaks like time to have lunch, time to have a tea break, time to snooze. And my timetable goes from 8 in the morning to 5 pm. I so mon I make sure I have a time to get up Monday to Friday at 6 30 am. I do a workout, physical exercise is important, then depending on when my lesson finish depends when I have lunch and I aim to also have a snooze after lunch because it's just a good thing to do for like food to digest. Make sure you have some free time to do stuff you enjoy, remember your timetable doesn't need to be super strict. Sometimes you may just want to watch a YouTube video in the middle of the day, I quite often do that. I tend to around 4.30 aim to finish work, having time to have lunch and to finish work and to get up and when to go to bed gives structure. Also it's a good idea to write a to-do list every day because there might be those random things pop up that you may need to do, like emails you may need to reply to, you might need to run some errands, you might need to do some things that are not in your timetable. Also, try and do things in like due date order. Make sure you do what you do at like school, college, uni, sixth form, uni, whatever you do. You can colour code your timetable, making it less confusing. I know this is not colour coded, it's really not that colour coded. when you put all your work in it's important to have other things to do things you enjoy physical activity is important even if it is going for a walk doing something in the garden doing a workout but it doesn't mean you need to do a really strict workout because who wants to do that every single day even if it's just going for a walk then you want to put in time for hobbies time to learn anything new that you want to do also, just doing schoolwork is not great because it will drive you up the wall, let me stress that. You need to make time to do stuff you enjoy so you have another focus as well as schoolwork. Could be hobbies, I like photography, I like reading, YouTube. My main hobby is like drama. I know timetabling can be stressful and hard to stick to, that's why I didn't do a timetable originally but I then found without a timetable I find it really hard to have a structured day. The problem you can have and you need to be careful of is not getting things done in the day and things running over to the next day and then the next day and then the next day and then the next day. 
you sort of set realistic goals be kind to yourself during this time the weather's not pleasant and it's hard to go out and exercise so I hope this is somewhat helpful hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see you in another video Bye.